I'd like to welcome everyone to the 2020 Athletic uh, Awards Banquet. Uh, we want to thank you so much for um, taking the time to uh, acknowledge what the accomplishments of our athletes were this year. Um, one of the things that we know uh, openly is we've had some great competitions and uh, we all love uh, the sports uh, and, and uh, our, our activities that our students get to participate in. Um, openly, uh, there's a couple of uh, groups or a few groups that um, did not get to finish their season, uh, and that is uh, golf, baseball, softball, archery, and track. Uh, and we openly, um, you know, missed the opportunity to, to, to know uh, what your full accomplishments would have been. Uh, but you're all champions in my book. Um, with that being said, uh, another special group that we want to take a moment to uh, acknowledge um, are our seniors. Our graduating seniors, um, you know, of these sports never uh, got to uh, uh, experience a lot of the things that our seniors get to experience. And um, our heartfelt concern is there for you. Um, just like uh, right now, we're not getting to be together uh, for, for our uh, banquet like we normally are. Um, but we wanted to um, take the time to, to let you know that our thoughts and prayers are with you um, and that uh, we're here to support you. Um, you didn't come or you're not uh, logged on to hear me. Uh, so let's uh, get on with the show. Um, I want to say that uh, the thing I love most about sports is um, it's, it's an equalizer. Uh, you know, we can all come together. It really doesn't matter uh, what our nationality, what our race, what our sex, what our background. Uh, we can come together and sit along a side of field and uh, all root for a common goal of, of, uh, of players. And, uh, you know, we're all Vikings. We're all Gators. Uh, you know, and to be able to come together and, and, and support our students is one of the things I love um, about sports. Um, the other thing, uh, you know, in this day and age, I don't know that there's ever been a time in my career uh, where we've had to be more innovative and we had to be more creative to meet the needs of our students. And, um, you know, when you look at what sports do, um, you know, they're fun uh, and we enjoy it. There's a lot of times in remembrance that, uh, you know, uh, you'll remember for eternity. But sports are more than just the fun. Sports are more than just the competition. Uh, it's about uh, getting together and making a plan, uh, establishing what you think the needs uh, to, to win are, uh, to accomplish a goal. And, uh, you know, you practice at that and you work at that and you come together and you, you rely on your teammates. And, uh, you know, in, the, in that model, uh, you know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, but the thing about sports is, and you know, when you lose, you get to turn around and play again. Uh, that's a great lesson for life. And as we move forward and, and we're making, uh, you know, grown men and women, uh, and, and, uh, we're preparing you for, um, a, a, uh, a lifetime of, of success. Uh, ultimately, um, those are the same decisions you'll make as adults. Uh, when you come together, you're, you're going to look and say, hey, here's the things we have to accomplish. Here's what we're going to do in order to accomplish that. And we're going to practice that and we're going to work towards it. Uh, and in the long term, uh, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And uh, uh, the other thing that I, I love about sports is the moment that um, it's not just the wins, but it's the recovery from losses. It's the ability to go, you know what? Hey, I'll live to fight another day. Um, so all that collectively is, is one of the reasons I'm such an avid supporter of athletics. And uh, again, uh, you know, uh, we want to thank you for uh, taking the time to, to spend with us so that we could um, celebrate our athletes uh, for the 2020 year. Um, and uh, from, from your superintendent, seniors, um, I, I hope you've had a great year. I hope we've been able to, to honor you in this tough time. Uh, and uh, just know that if we could have uh, done more, we would have, uh, but we're very proud of you, and we thank you so much um, for, for your accomplishments this year. Uh, without further ado, we'll move forward with our program. Thank you. Mr. Sheely, thank you so much for the welcome that you gave for our Athletic Awards video presentation. We want to take this time to thank you, Mr. Campbell, and Dr. McGee for the leadership that you display uh, within our school district. To our school board members, we want to thank you as well for the support that you give to all of our students and to our faculty and staff within our buildings. Students, this is your time. We want to take this time to recognize you for the accomplishments that you've created this year. We're in unprecedented times, so having a traditional athletic banquet is out of the question. But we do not want this time to go without uh, recognizing you again for those accomplishments. We thank you for representing us within our schools, in our community, as well as in the state of Mississippi. Job well done. To our coaches, we wanna take this time to thank you for the work that you put in to making sure that your student athletes are prepared, 
when they take the playing surface and represent their individual schools appropriately. To our parents, we want to thank you for entrusting us with your children to make sure that we are leading and guiding them and helping you in getting them college and career prepared. We're not going to take too much of your time. Our coaches have prepared individual videos for their teams to name and to list those award recipients. And we just ask that during this time that you stay safe and you stay guarded. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. I'm Mark Baez, Chairman of the 2019-2020 Red Carpet Bowl Committee, and it's my pleasure to make our annual presentation to this year's recipients of our scholarships. We will be rewarding nine $750, yes, $750 scholarships to local athletes. The participating schools are Warren Central High School, Vicksburg High School, St. Aloysius High School, and Porter's Chapel Academy. This is one of the largest local scholarships that are awarded by a civic club or organization. We congratulate each and every one of you on the job well done and for being a recipient. Now, a little history about the Red Carpet Bowl Committee, the classic. We began in 1962 when five businessmen, local businessmen, went together, went together to create a fundraising event for to help defray the medical costs of a local high school athlete, Mr. Leo Puckett, who was rendered a quadriplegic from an accident that he received in a football game that fall. That was back in 1962, and this will be the 57th year of our classic, and it's the longest running high school bowl classic in the South. Just to identify who these five businessmen were, is Coach Gene Allen, who was the head coach of H.B. Cooper High School, Mr. Harold Baldwin, a local businessman, Mr. Bill Ray, who was the famous sports editor of the Vicksburg Evening Post, Mr. Ray Roberts Sr., who was with the Illinois Central Railroad, and Mr. Travis T. Vance Sr., who was the mayor of Vicksburg at that time. Now, let's recognize who the recipients are. First, it's Ms. Abby Claire Fuller. Abby, congratulations. Next is William Gabriel Katzenmeyer. Congratulations, Mr. Katzenmeyer. Happy for you. Last but not least, Robert James Henson. Mr. Henson, congratulations on being a recipient of this scholarship. One last bit of information. We ask that you would please contact our treasurer, Mr. Lester Joe Jolis, before you go to school, at least two weeks before you go to school, and he will issue you a check that will be made payable to the college of your choice. Again, congratulations, recipients. It's our pleasure to be able to offer you and provide you with this scholarship. And thank you, Warren Central Vikings, for your support for the Red Carpet Bowl Committee and Classic. God bless. Our 2019-20 season, uh, we had a had a good year. Very proud of you guys. Uh, I want you to know, um, talking to our seniors, that our, our coaches uh, love you a lot and very proud of you and had a lot of fun with you. We had a good year. Uh, Red Carpet Bowl champs, county champs, uh, made it to the playoffs and, and uh, really big wins over Germantown and Clinton. And uh, eventually were put out by the eventual state champions in Oxford and uh, had, a, had an outstanding year, but we had a better time. Uh, had a better time with you guys and a lot of good memories and we hope that uh, you enjoyed as much as we did. Our seniors this year, I want to recognize you. Uh, number one, Damon Patton. Number seven, Malik Sims. Number 10, Shane Reagan. Uh, number 12, Josh Hallberg. Number 13, Parker Kivett. Uh, number 25, Marvin Freeman. 27, Tyreek Willis. Number 40, Jalen Davenport. Number 56, Chris Winston. Number 49, Michael Scott. Uh, number 51, Cedric Burks. Uh, number 53, Tremel Gross. Uh, number 65, J.T. Hill, and number 63, Brandon Higgins. And uh, those guys are have been in our program a long time, and and uh, you know we always try to take care of our seniors and put them in the forefront of our program. And uh, guys did a really good job. Uh, Austin Johnson, our manager, uh, also did a, just a phenomenal job, and just just really proud of you guys and uh, all that you did for your school and your community. 
Hey, I'm the Vicats coach and I am going to present our two awards. The first award is MVP and it goes to Jamia Clark, our captain. And the second award is Most School Spirit and it goes to Ann Wallace Durasset. Well, we probably should have known this year was going to be one we would never forget when Mr. Naylor came and asked me to take over cheer. I want to say what a great time I had getting to know the cheerleaders and being able to step out of principal role and back into a coaching role. It was really great. My seniors this year, Skylar Morgan and Isabel Danchek, y'all were wonderful and I really appreciate all your help getting me through the season. Most outstanding tumbler this year was Skylar Morgan. Most outstanding base, Jane Hobson. Most outstanding flyer, Morgan Nelson. Most outstanding backspot, Talia Jenkins. The MVP award goes to Sarah Randolph. Most improved cheerleader was Emily Harris, and most spirited was Isabel Danchek. Again, I had a great year working with y'all. We'll start our awards. Uh, the first award of the night will go uh, to our Spirit and Desire Award. This award goes to Josh Hallberg. Uh, just did a phenomenal job, selfless player. Uh, very proud of him. This is a special award and, and very proud of Josh. Our special teams award uh, goes to Josh Griffin. Uh, Josh did all of our kicking for us and field goals and punts and kickoffs. Did a great job. Most improved offensive player uh, goes to our quarterback, Parker Kivett. Um, our most improved offensive line goes to JT Hill. Uh, JT played every position that you could possibly play for us up there and did a really good job. Our wide receiver award goes to Shane Reagan. And uh, Shane can and has been a, just a wonderful asset to our, our program and uh, just did a really good job for us. Our offensive back award goes to Kendrick Thompson. Kendrick did a really good job uh, just doing whatever was asked of him. Uh, and we leaned on him quite a bit, whether it was quarterback, running back, receiver, it didn't matter. Our offensive lineman, who also played in the Mississippi-Alabama game, uh, Chris Winston, uh, our offensive line award, he was just uh, our leader. Uh, and, and just did a really good job. And he also uh, signed a scholarship to play at Hines. Our offensive MVP, uh, he was our playmaker on that side of the ball, and Demond Patton, who also signed with Hines. And uh, Demond was a, uh, an explosive player, uh, set some records here, and, and uh, just did a really good job uh, and really stepped up and made some big plays for us throughout the year. Uh, on the defensive side of the ball, our most improved defensive lineman is Taylor Smith. Uh, had a really good year, looking for better things out of him. Uh, our most improved linebacker is Darius Smothers, a middle linebacker. That's a really big part in our defense, and Darius did a really good job with it. Another player that we'll have coming back. Our most improved defensive back uh, is another junior, and Jalen Thompson. Uh, and uh, Jalen did a really good job for us. Our defensive back award this year goes to Tevin Bale. Uh, and he's another guy that we'll have uh, coming back. These are A lot of these guys are juniors, and that's a good thing. Uh, but Tevin did a good job for us. Our linebacker award uh, goes to Tyreek Willis. Tyreek is, uh, is a special player and uh, did a really good job for us. Our defensive lineman award goes to Jalen Davenport. He was uh, our leader on, uh, up front and did a phenomenal job there. And glad to see him have the success that he had. Our defensive MVP, and it could have been a lot of these guys, but uh, we picked Marvin Freeman for this award. Uh, Marvin does a, uh, the intangibles, and when he's on the field, he makes us better. Uh, great leader, great, great, great young man, and uh, really did some good things for us. And uh, our. Uh, our golden helmet, helmet uh, MVP, our overall MVP goes to Malik Sims. Malik played offense, defense. Uh, he was on every special team that there was uh, and did it with a great attitude and a burning desire uh, to win. And uh, he's a lot of fun to watch. We have, uh, have three of these guys, and Malik is another one that's going to Heinz. And uh, so we, a lot of our guys will be. Uh, together and continue and playing and I can't tell you and, and, and tell you guys enough uh, how much we love you, how much we enjoyed you and uh, just uh, very, very proud of you and proud to, proud to be a part of your life.
We love y'all. Thank you. Slow Pitch Softball Awards um, for the 2019-2020 um, school year, which was the final season of Slow Pitch for the state of Mississippi. Uh, we finished our season with 14 wins and 17 losses, um, came in second in our division, and made it through to the second round of playoffs. Our award winners for um, our season are as follows. Rookie of the Year, Mary Evelyn Hosley. Most Improved, Kaylee Carroll. Viking Team Player, Brianna Daughtry and Callie Page. Best Offensive Player, Malin Kelly. Best Defensive Player, Sarah Cameron Fancher. And Most Valuable Player, Kaylee Heft. Congratulations, ladies. Hi, this is Coach Gullett and Amelia Gwynn. We're here to present the 2019 Lady Viking Volleyball Awards. The first award is our server award. It goes to Junior Defensive Specialist Kendall Stewart. Our second award is the Setter Award. This award goes to Senior Setter Elena Bailey. Our Offensive Player of the Year this year is Senior Outside Hitter Aaron Greer. Our Defensive Player of the Year is Senior Defensive Specialist Jada Griffin. Our Heart of the Champion Award goes to a wonderful young woman who I've had the pleasure to coach and teach, Miss Maddie Watkins. This year's team MVP led the team in assist, hits, and kills, Miss Abby Claire Fuller. To all my seniors, thank you for all your hard work over these years. Good luck in the future. I love all of you. Go Vikings! Hello, Viking family. Uh, this is Coach Wong here to present the swimming awards. This year's girls most improved goes to Lauren Cooley. This year's boys most improved goes to Ashton Wallace. Girls Viking Award goes to Chloe Bernard. Boys Viking Award goes to Davis Green. The MVP on the girls side this year, Katie Wallace. The MVP on the boys team uh, was Scott Wallace. Thanks to all the swimmers, the boys went to state and had several swimmers that made it into the final round of competition. Um, they did really good, and we look forward to this next season. Have a great summer. Hi, this is Coach Small, and I'm here to announce the 2019-2020 Cross Country Awards for Warren Central High School. This is my first year coaching, so it was a very exciting experience. The awards, the first award goes to MVP, which is a Don Bird, Workhorse Award, which is Davis Green, Most Improved goes to Robert Fleming, Girls Coaches Award goes to Keegan Wilson, Boys Coaches Award goes to Samuel Terrett, Boys Viking Award goes to Scott Wallace, and Girls Viking Award goes to Samantha Smith. Good evening. It is an honor for me to introduce the Girls and the Boys Soccer Awards at this time. These awards are voted on by the players and the coaches. For the girls, girls had a very successful season this year, posting their second winning season in a row. Awards, we have a tie for the Most Improved Player Award, and it is presented to defender Elena Bailey and midfielder Natalie Greer. The Heart of a Champion Award is presented to Sarah Prescott. The Most Versatile Player Award is presented to Maddie Watkins. Maddie will be playing soccer next year at Hines Community College. Best Defensive Play Award is presented to Cassidy Lampkin. Best Offensive Play Award is presented to Madeline Polk. Madeline will be playing soccer next year at Holmes Community College. Most Valuable Play Award is presented to Aaron Greer. And the Courtney Hubert Memorial Scholarship Award is presented to another great goalkeeper, Anna Hoban. Now for the boys. The boys team had a very successful season this year, posting a 15-5 and record. We were ranked in the top 10 or better throughout the entire season. Now for awards, the Mark Strickland Memorial Sportsmanship Award is presented to Josh Griffin. We have a tie for the Most Improved Player Award, and it is presented to first-year goalkeeper Ben Vroman and midfielder Justin Hasty. The Heart of a Champion Award is presented to Parker Green. The Most Versatile Player Award is presented to Jagger Weekly. Jagger will be playing soccer next year at East Central Community College. Best Offensive Player Award. It's presented to Tony King, who compiled 20 goals this year. And we have a tie for the Most Valuable Player Awards. And it goes to striker DeQuarian Buck with 23 goals and Shamar Lott, captain of our defense. And both of these young men will be playing soccer next year at East Central Community College.
Thank you. And I'm here to present the 2019-2020 Bowling Awards for One Central High School. The girls MVP for this past season was none other than Aaron Lawson. The boys MVP was none other than himself, Mr. Christopher Bates. The most improved player for our girls scene was Miss Kennedy Fitzgerald. The most improved player for our boys scene was Josh Smith. And the Viking Award will go to senior Trevor Rouse for our boys. And our Viking Award will go to Madison McGroom for the girls this past season. Our Varsity Basketball Varsity Cheer Awards 2019-2020. The most spirited cheerleader, Ashley Bracy. The most dedicated cheerleader, Madison Banks. The Captain's Award, Jayla Holt, Alex Lawson. Most improved cheerleader, Kristen Sullivan. Our star cheerleader, Kennedy Fitzgerald. We have senior Kristen Sullivan. And senior Jayla Holt. Thanks ladies for a great cheer year. Greetings sports fans. My name is Darian Hilliard, head girls basketball coach at Warren Central High School. I hope all is well with you and yours. Due to the unfortunate situation with the pandemic, we're unable to have our basketball banquet. So I can, I'm gonna share with you an overview of the 2019-2020 Lady Bikes basketball season. Due to injuries and inexperience, the Lady Bikes struggled a little during the season, but from the valuable experience, the freshmen that we brought up, I think the Vikings, Lady Bikes are in very good shape. Our, end, our highlights of our season were big wins against Germantown, and Hattiesburg. And now as we go to our individual awards, our most important award, our scholastic award goes to Ashley Rainey, our best offensive player, Zakiria Segrist, our freshman of the year, or best newcomer of the year, Tamaya Sims, and also our best defensive player of the year, Tamaya Sims. I think the Lady Bikes are ready uh, to go to a new level coming up for our 2020-2021 basketball season. We look forward to seeing you soon. Stay safe and go Vikings. Hello, Viking Nation. I hope you all are staying safe in this time of uncertainty. At this time, I would like to recap the 2019-2020 basketball season. We had a lot of challenges in this season and the kids stood toe to toe with each of those challenges and continued to fight throughout the season. We would like to recognize these players at this time. Most assists, Daniel Smothers, signed with Colin Community College. Most improved, Cameron Jackson. Best defense, Anthony Lumpkin Jr. Best offensive, Daniel Smothers and Jabari Bowman. Viking Award, Del JVM Harris. Best Rebounder, Jabari Bowman, signed with Jones Junior College. And our Academic Award winner is Travis Williams. Hey guys, it's Coach Mike Mullen. Before we get into our uh, powerlifting season review, just want to tell all the seniors, uh, we miss you, we love you, God bless, and stay safe during this time. Uh, as far as our powerlifting season went, we had a very good season. Um, very young team. I graduated most of the guys uh, from last year. And we had uh, only two seniors on the team this year, uh, Austin Johnson and Jalen Davenport, and they did a fabulous job. Uh, our North State uh, qualifiers um, were Lane Gordon, Purnell DeFrance, and Jalen Davenport. And Lane and Jalen both qualified for the state championship meet, but it was unfortunately canceled because of this COVID-19 virus. Um, our awards for this year are as follows. Best lightweight uh, is a young man who's won two straight North State championships in two different weight classes, and he'll be coming back next year for his 10th grade season. Our best lightweight is Lane Gordon. Our best heavyweight lifter goes to a junior who was lifting for his first time this year and did a tremendous, did a tremendous job, excuse me. Um, 
he uh, qualified for North State and finished fourth, and we're looking for big things from him. Our best heavyweight is Pernell de France. Congratulations, Pernell. And finally, our most valuable lifter goes to a senior who, uh, if everything had gone well, we were predicting uh, for him to win the state championship at 242 this year. Uh, he has won district and North State championships and also has the honor of being the first lifter in Warren Central history to be offered a full powerlifting scholarship from Blue Mountain College. Our MVP this year and a young man who I'm going to dearly miss is Jalen Davenport. Congratulations, guys. Stay safe. Seniors, we love you. Thanks. Hey, guys. Coach Mike Mullen again. Just wanted to give a rundown of how the girls' powerlifting season went. It was a little bit shorter uh, than we would have liked. Um, plus, we did not get to do any invitational meets this year. They added for this year an extra playoff meet, a division meet that qualified you for district uh, when normally you just have three playoff meets. But this year we had four. So the season was actually a little bit shorter than we would have liked. But we had seven girls that um, competed this year and all of them did a fabulous job. Uh, five of them were ninth graders so and one was a junior. I'm only losing one senior. Um, she's going to be hard to replace, uh, but had a really good year and excited about next year. For our awards this year, best lightweight lifter goes to our only senior. Uh, she's been with me now. This is, was her third year to lift. She's done a fabulous job, been the backbone of our program, and I hate to see her go. Our best lightweight is Kwamari Gray. Our best heavyweight lifter this year is a young lady that came to me uh, several months ago, wanted to try it, had never lifted before. Um, for any other sports that she does and just did a really fabulous job took to it real fast And I'm looking forward to her senior year next year and some big things from her our best heavyweight lifter is McLaurin Truesdale and Finally our MVP this young lady. It was her first year to lift. She's a ninth grader uh, Did qualify through our regional meet for the district meet did a fabulous job And I'm looking forward to some big things from her for the next not just next year, but the next three years our uh, most valuable lifter is Gracie Halterman. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Coach Williams here. Just want to say thank you to all of our golf team for all the hard work and dedication you put in at practice this season. Even though our season was cut short and we were able to participate in any tournaments, I just want to say thank you for all that you did for our golf program. We're going to recognize our seniors, Leanna Goss, Macy Broom, Anna Bull, and Josh Hallberg. Thank you for all that you did for the golf program over your years at Warren Central. And we wish you nothing but the best in your future. Hey, I'm Steve Summers. I coach Warren Central Tennis. We got to play four matches this year when the world uh, went on hold for a bit. Uh, a lot of our success over the last several years due to my seniors. I got a great group, six seniors uh, this year. Uh, love you all, and thank you for everything you've done for our program. John Jabor, Steve Springfield, Parker Waits, Ian Gordon, Robert Fleming, and Miss Elena Bailey. Uh, our awards this year, our most improved uh, girl is Miss Sarah Catherine Spires. Our most improved boy is Wyatt Schrader. Uh, our uh, girls MVP this year is Miss Audrey Jennings. Our boys MVP is John Jabor. Uh, and our Viking award this year goes to Mr. Robert Fleming. Thank y'all, have a good summer. Hey, I'm Coach Casey, the Varsity Girls Track Coach, assisted by Coach Hilliard and Coach Walker. Um, our awards for this year are Best in field events is Skylar Morgan um, for pole vaulting. Um, our best distance runner is Samantha Smith. Our best long sprinter is Kalia Brown. Our best sprinter is Alex Lawson. And the Viking Award goes to Tyler McGee. Um, we had a really short season this year. We only got to participate in one track meet, but I'm still very proud of them. And I'm looking forward to next year with them. And for the seniors, I wish them much success as they move forward in life. Thank you. Good afternoon, Viking fans. This is Coach Corey Wilson, head of Oscar DeBoer's track coach. First award, Best in Field Event, Jabari Bowman, Dana Smothers. Best Distant Runners, Adon Bird, Samuel Terry. Best Sprinters, Veteran Kelly, Iman Smith. Team Captain Award, Iman Smith, McCrary and Buck. Viking Award, Patreon Kelly, Jalen Bohan, Spirit and Desire, Malik Stem, Aaron Murphy. Most Improved, Jalen Bohan, Aaron Wash. 
best lawn spreader for the Kivik, the Quarian Bowl. This is 2020 most valuable track athlete of the year, Joshua Griffin. Thank you. Hey guys, I know our archery season was cut short this year. Um, I hate that, for, especially for you seniors. Um, Tristan Callaway, Chase Hill, Drew Hutchison, uh, it's been a pleasure to coach y'all the last four years. Um, just hate your season was cut short, but I expect the best from you in the future and can't wait to hear how you're doing. Um, our awards, boys MVP, Drew Hutchinson. Uh, girls MVP, Elena Hearn. Uh, boys most improved, Chase Hill. Uh, girls most improved, Haley Cummins. Uh, our Viking award this year uh, goes to the person that was always around, always could be counted on to, to do a little extra, always willing to, to lend a hand, uh, Garrett Lee. And our team captain award this year uh, showed great leadership all year, uh, Dylan Cocker. Uh, congratulations to all y'all, and can't wait to hear how you're doing in the future. Good luck with the rest of your year. Fast Pitch Softball Awards for the 2019-2020 school year. Uh, we finished our season uh, on perfect 11 wins and zero losses. I uh, hate that our season was cut short, but I am so proud of our um, team for how well they had been playing throughout the beginning of this season. Um, our award winners for uh, Fast Pitch are as follows. Rookie of the Year, Michaela Jackson. Most Improved, Brooke Comins. Uh, Viking Team Player, Amber Busby and Logan Harden. Best Offensive Player, Mason Smith. Best Defensive Player, Sarah Cameron Fancher. And Most Valuable Player, Kaylee Heft. Congratulations, ladies. Very well deserved. And now, from Highway 27, your 2020 Warren Central Viking Baseball Award. What's up, guys? This is Coach Red here. I will be presenting the award uh, for the 2020 Warren Central Baseball Best Pitcher Award. That award goes to Mason Sheely and Alan Kivett. This year's most improved player is Tyler Carroll. Hey everyone, this is Coach Wall. This year I'll be presenting the 2020 Defensive Player of the Year, and that goes to number 12, Kyle Dupree. Coach Parker here, and this year's best offense award for the 2020 season at Warren Central High School is number 27, Shane Lewis. Viking Award goes to Trevor Rouse, and Most Valuable Player MVP Award goes to Clayton Thurman.
It's my privilege to recognize the male and female athlete of the year. Both these student athletes were uh, very strong in the classroom and excelled in multiple sports. And uh, just the, the, the teachers and staff and the administrators of our school thought extremely lot of them and we're proud to recognize Josh Hallberg as the male athlete of the year and Aaron Greer as the female athlete of the year. We're very proud of these two young student athletes and uh, applaud you and uh, well deserved. Thanks.